polo. Yeah. I was like city gas at home. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. And we'll just light them up. City <laughs> gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to call to order the seventh meeting of the 2013 <laughs> Common Council. Would the clerk please read the quote for today? Those who want our are we on? Yes. Okay. Those who want our independence believe liberty to be the secret of happiness and courage to be the secret of liberty. Thank you very much. Would the clerk please call the roll? You all need to press one. We are. We are. We are. We are. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a dozen times. <laughs> You're all pressing one? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Go two. Is Front that, row. I can tell you it's not here. It's got to be three. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I'll go for six. Okay. Uh, we'll take now. Okay. <laughs> mine's flashing. Hmm. Try it one more time and then we're going paper. Nope. I can't get more. Bellinger? Here. Boren? Here. Carlson? Here. Gassler? Here. Donahue? Here. Hammond? Here. Heidemann? Here. Herman? Here. Lassard? Here. Lewandowski? Here. Matichek? Present. Pentaco? Here! <laughs> it's more sensitive than I thought, I'm sorry. Veal? Ben Akron? Not excused. Vanderweel? Here. Bercy? Not excused. 14 present. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. States of America, and, and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with, with liberty and justice, and justice for all. Next we'll go on to the approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve the minutes of the previous council meeting. Second. Been moved and second to approve those minutes. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Dassler? Aye. Donahue? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Herman? Herman? Lassard? Aye. Lewandowski? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Pentacle? Aye. Aye. Veal? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. 14 ayes. I didn't vote. Who did? Me. I'm sorry. Aye. You're on your top of the list now. <laughs> I'll get you. Next, we'll go on to a resignation. City Attorney. Uh, there's an email to the mayor advising that uh, uh, Patrick Kirchner is uh, requesting to be removed from the Capital Improvements Commission. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I move to accept and file. Second. Been moved and second to accept and file the resignation. Would the clerk please call the roll? Carlson? Aye. Dassler? Aye. Donahue? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Herman? Aye. Lassard? Aye. Lewandowski? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Pentaco? Aye. Veal? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bellinger? Aye. Boren? Aye. 14. Aye. Next, we'll go on to council appointments. City Attorney. 
Honorable members of the Common Council, I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Nicholas Dussault to be considered for appointment to the Capital Improvements Commission to fill the unexpired term of Patrick Kirshner, whose term expires 4-20-2015, signed by the Mayor. Thank you. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd uh, first off ask for a motion, or move to suspend the rules. Second. Uh, motion on suspension. Please call the roll. Dassler. Aye. Donahue. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Heideman. Aye. Herman. Herman. Lassard. Aye. Lewandowski. Aye. Manichek. Aye. Pentaco. Aye. Thiel. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Bellinger. Aye. Boren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. 14 eyes to suspend. Under suspension, Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The reason for that is we do have a capital improvements meeting at uh, 6 p.m. next Monday, so we want to make sure that uh, Mr. DeSalt is uh, on so we have a full committee. So I would move to confirm his appointment to the Capital Improvements Committee. Second. Thank you for that motion. Any discussion? I had one request from an alderman about uh, uh, a resume, and I think you all saw his resume when he applied for the position of alderman previously. Any other discussion? Seeing none, please call the roll. Donahue? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Herman? Aye. Lassard? Aye. Lewandowski? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Pentaco? Aye. Veal? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bellinger? Aye. Bourne? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Dassler? Aye. 14 ayes. Do we have anyone signed up for public forum this evening? Yes, we do. First on the list is Melanie Nick. Do you want to come on up to the podium up here? <clears throat> Melanie, what is your home address? My home address is W5090 Woodland Road, Plymouth. Okay, and you will have five minutes. Okay. I am here tonight because I am in agreement with um, number 3.2, the communication regarding how uh, monies from the pet license fees are given to the Humane Society, um, I believe through contract with the city and or county. And um, I am in agreement that the monies be held until the Sheboygan Humane Society proves that the money is indeed being spent solely for the animals, not for attorney fees or anything else that doesn't directly help the animals. I am concerned because the board of directors of our Humane Society has continued to basically ignore requests from the public, and some of these are actually formal requests that are given to nonprofit organizations asking for copies of their minutes, bylaws, and financials. They have, by law, 30 days to produce those copies, and they have been totally ignored. I personally organized a public forum and sent um, requests to the board of directors to come to a public forum so that we could have open discussion, ask questions, and be assured in our community that the shelter is running fine, and that was totally ignored. Um, we believe there's been a loss of services at the Humane Society, a loss of public trust. Because of that loss of public trust, donations are down, so we are concerned about how money is being spent. Um, Let's see, there's not been any formal uh, statements from the Humane Society concerning um, um, what has taken place following, um, I think you're all aware of issues that have happened there. Um, not even a public statement stating that the financials are okay, but yet recently there's been pleas for basic things such as kitty litter ferret food, milk bones, things like that. And again, the public has had trust in our Humane Society since 1964, and a lot of people support them financially. I think they <coughs> need to be held accountable. And that's it for now. Thank you. Thanks, Melanie. Next on the list would be Rochelle Drews. <clears throat> Hi, Rochelle. Can we have your home address, please? 1221 North 4th Street, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Okay, and you'll have five minutes. Thank you. I, I, I too, am in agreement with the, the financials of the Sheboygan County Humane Society need to be looked in more thoroughly by the city. 
Um, it is my opinion that the, the city look into that be for the purposes of discovery on how the donations are being applied as to whether or not they are being applied to attorney's fees or the investigations uh, that, they, that they recently uh, had in the, internally. Um, their lack of transparency with the, with the general public in our requesting uh, those items um, has gone completely ignored and they have not addressed any of the issues that have been presented to them in any fashion. Um, we are concerned that animals are, are suffering or at, at the very least um, not having the most appropriate care that could be available to them since there are uh, there is no longer a veterinarian on site. Um, they are going out to, to outside sources for that um, and we believe that's less than timely um, in some instances as far as receiving veterinary care for these animals. Um, they've made no statements as to how they intend on, on going forward since these incidences have, have happened and we would like to see some, some information as to how those, those funds are being, are being spent. Thank you. Thank you, Rochelle. <clears throat> and last on our list is Rufino Martinez. Is Rufino here? Rufino, can I have your home address, please? Uh, uh, 914 North 17th Street. Okay, you may. Wisconsin. Okay, you may have five minutes. The reason I'm here is um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a owner of a bar here in Sheboygan. It's called Rehab Bar and Grill. Some of you have been there. Um, I've had it over three years, and now over three years in a month. I had different kind of music, hip hop music. It didn't go well. It was going well, but unfortunately. It came with the wrong crowd, and I had to change that degree angle and went the opposite. I removed the DJ that I used to have. My problems went away. Um, fortunately, neighbors around the area, maybe two, three at the most, um, I complained the music. They say the kind of music that I have. I haven't had that kind of music anymore for the last almost a year now. I'd have rock and roll music. Um, Spanish music, pretty much music that people like to dance now and that our age, even younger. Unfortunately, uh, legal and license called me in because of the complaints callings numerous times saying that the noise was too loud. Officers have showed up. They came up. They told us, well, numerous officers have said, it's not really that loud, but you can turn it down anyway. And we did. Well, they got us in again numerous times here. And now the committee decided to almost try to pull my license away indefinitely. Unfortunately, came agreement that they wanted to do uh, 60 days, which for noise complaints and stuff like that, I can't believe that. Now they came back and said 30 days. Still, I still don't agree with it. I feel that. As far as an owner, the revenue that I have, the bartenders that I, that I, um, you know, work for me, uh, for 30 days, that's going to hurt me pretty hard. Um, the members, the workers that I have, have been with me for almost three years now. And the new things that have happened, I feel the common, does the liquor license need to be, find an agenda guidelines how they're going to address numerous bars, numerous events that happens, not only night events, I'm saying things that happen at their place. And by mine, if they look at the record of mine compared to other bars, I don't feel that's it's right. I feel that uh, I've been oh, way over on my part uh, to pull my license almost uh, now they're going to hit me with 30 days. I can't, I can't survive with 30 days. The revenue that I'm losing, I barely make it right now because I'm behind certain things. And now they, wanna, now they came across with 30 days. I had to agree with 30 days, unfortunately, because I have no choice. 
the community made a decision and that's what they're going for. I want the council, this council to address that, to find the guidelines for all the all bartenders out, the owners to sit down and, and have a guidelines. I'll give you an example. When they had me in here for the first time, they gave me a warning. Second time, they gave me a three day close. I didn't pick my days. They told me who I picked, what days I should pick. The third time, there was no third time. They went from one, two, to the throat, saying they wanted to shut me down. I'm here. That's why I'm here. Because I need, I need the, the council to look at into a lot of things that are going on, and hopefully they can find a way they can work this out to help the bar owners survive. Because I'm, I'm a small one that just started. I believe it. Yes, I had the ball. I had a wrong crowd. With the music, the council said, you need to get rid of the music. That's why it brings the crowd. Well, I did. I learned the highway, and I did. Changed the different ways, added more light, added security lights, everything else. But fortunately, now they're hitting me dead. Because somebody called noise, and, and one of the persons that called had mentioned has been by bar already the other ones are just new pretty much i just want the council to, to to look into everything and and realize what they're doing to me so i feel that i'm being was harassed violent discriminated and and favoritism in many ways i i feel strongly that they need to look at this very strongly thank you Thank you, Rufino. Next, we'll go on to mayor's comments. Uh, I'd like to wish everyone a, a safe and happy Fourth of July. Uh, we want to remind you again that the parade route has been changed from Seventh Street to A Street, and then it'll go to Michigan, and then down to Broughton Drive. And if you want a listing of the other activities, you can go to the tourism website at visitcheboygan.com. The Quarry Beach, a partnership with our park department and a company called CRS from Verona, Wisconsin, opened up on June 22nd. Uh, they're open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily, and they uh, have really dressed our beach up with some beach chairs and a lot of uh, playthings in the uh, water for uh, the youngsters to play with, so I hope you'll check that out. Um, the East Side Neighborhood Association is having their next meeting on July 10th at 7 p.m. That'll take place at First Congregational Church. And uh, Sheboygan Firefighters Local 483 is kicking off their new program called Coats for Kids Today in partnership with Operation Warm. The Sheboygan Firefighters are looking to raise money and provide 100 new winter coats to elementary school kids who can't afford them. And if you would, would like to per participate, you can just Google Operation Warm Sheboygan and you'll be able to see their page. Next, we'll move on to the consent agenda. That'll include items 2.1 through 2.20. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and put all resolutions and ordinances upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. I just want to point out um, 2.6, a resolution um, recognizing Karen Menzer as the interim uh, director for the library, as you uh, may know. Um, Sharon Winkle retired a few months back, and Karen uh, graciously stepped in and um, took control of the library, and now she is stepping back down into the youth manager role, so I just wanted to thank her. And also, um, once again, welcome Garrett Erickson as the new library director. Thank you for those comments. <laughs> is there any other discussion on the consent agenda? We're going to try the clickers and see if it works. Okay. Uh, in this case, the clerk will call the roll electronically. Please. Maybe. We'll see. All right. Not working? Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. Clerk, call the roll. Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Herman? Aye. Lassard? Aye. Lewandowski? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Pentacle? Aye. Thiel? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Dellinger? Aye. Warren? Aye. 
Carlson? Aye. Dassler? Aye. Donahue? Aye. 14 ayes. Under communications and petitions, agenda item 3.1 and 3.2 are referred. Under reports of officers, agenda items 4.1 through 4.3 are also referred. And under resolutions, uh, agenda item 4.1, a resolution from Alderman Hammond authorizing and executing an access easement agreement with Betty Cowger. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I would ask, uh, I make a motion to suspend the rules. Second. We move and second to suspend the rules. Please call the roll. Heideman. Aye. Herman. Aye. Lassard. Aye. Lewandowski. Aye. Manichek? Aye. Pentaco? Aye. Thiel? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bellinger? Aye. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Dassler? Aye. Donahue? Aye. Hammond? Aye. 14 ayes. Alderman Hammond. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Moved and seconded to put the resolution upon its passage. Any discussion on the resolution? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Herman? Lassard? Aye. Lewandowski? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Pentaco? Aye. Thiel? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bellinger? Aye. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Dassler? Aye. Donahue? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heideman? Aye. 14 ayes. Next is the resolution by Alderman, Alderman Vanderweel authorizing the, the city attorney to engage in the services of a special outside legal counsel with regards to the quasi-judicial hearings for David McKenzie and John Schneider. They can move the, to suspend the rules. Second. Move and second to, to ask for suspension. Please call the roll. Lassard? Aye. Lewandowski? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Pentaco? Aye. Beal? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bellinger? Aye. Bourne? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Dassler? Aye. Donahue? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Herman? Aye. 14 ayes. Under suspension. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion. Is there a second? Second. Thank you for the second. Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Lewandowski? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Pentago? Aye. Thiel? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bellinger? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Dassler? Aye. Donahue? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Herman? Aye. Lassard? Aye. 14 ayes. Agenda item 5.3 will lie over. Agenda items 5.4 through 5.7 will be referred. We'll go on to reports of committees. Item 6.1, in RC by law and licensing recommending denying a taxi cab driver's license 9953 based on his failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on his application and record of violations related to the license activity. Alderman Vanderweele. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. Is there any discussion on the motion? Is Robert Nielsen here this evening? He's not here. The committee voted four to zero with one abstention to um, deny his license. Thank you. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Matichek? Aye. Pentacle? Aye. Beal? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bellinger? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Dassler? Aye. Donahue? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Herman? Aye. Lassard? Aye. Lewandowski? Aye. 14 ayes. Next is item 6.2 in RC by law and licensing recommending denying a taxi cab driver's license number 8913 based on her failure to accurately reveal all relevant conviction of convictions her rec and her record of violations related to the licensed activity and a negative recommendation from the police department. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Under discussion. 
Is Heather Rhodes here this evening? <clears throat> She's not here. Um, the committee voted four to one to deny her license based on um, previous incidences that related to her taxi cab license. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Pentaco? Aye. Beal? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bellinger? Aye. Horn? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Dassler? Aye. Donahue? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Herman? Aye. Lassard? Aye. Lewandowski? Aye. Matichek? Aye. 14 ayes. Next is item 6.3, an RC by law and licensing recommending denying uh, change of premises application due to the fact that the application includes a non-contiguous area. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded to adopt the resolution under discussion. Can I Alderman Vanderweel. Um, based on uh, information that we received since the, our law and licensing meeting, um, I'd act actually ask that Steve um, let us know what his, what his thoughts are on um, granting this change of premise. City Attorney. Uh, thank you, uh, Mayor. Um, as far as the uh, temporary change in the premises, uh, I understand that law and licensing, my assistant, uh, Chuck Adams, uh, advised the committee that uh, because the proposed site was not, quote, contiguous to the Blue Harbor Resort that uh, you recommended not granting the uh, temporary extension of the premises. Uh, and I've got to say, Chuck in our office is usually the, uh, the specialist that uh, deals with alcohol beverage licensing issues. Uh, he goes to all the law and licensing committee meetings, and I don't. Uh, however, I was out from Wednesday through Friday of last week. <clears throat> Did not discuss this with him. He was out today, so we crossed, uh, didn't cross paths. Uh, but I know that the, the mayor had had contact with Claire Silverman, who's the uh, legal counsel for the League of Wisconsin Municipalities, about this issue. And I also spoke with the... Uh, Attorney Silverman this morning and uh, did some independent research uh, on the subject and uh, I guess what I find is that this is really a discretionary issue on the council's part. Uh, I don't think there's a, a bright line test that you can say uh, necessarily because this property is across the street from uh, the rest of the premises that uh, it's not contiguous. Uh, I know in uh, several areas of law, annexations, uh, uh, often property areas uh, where you vacate a street, uh, streets are for public purposes, you vacate them, the property reverts to the abutting property owners on either side. Uh, uh, attorney Silverman did cite to a uh, an older Wisconsin Attorney General's opinion on the uh, a related subject, and copies of that I think are on all the aldermen's desks there. And I would highlight the last paragraph there. Uh, the issue really, this was from 1948, involved uh, the original licensing of a resort premise that uh, was going to have two places to sell alcohol beverages and they were uh, on opposite on different sides of the street the, uh, the resort owned the entire premises other obviously than the public highway that ran through the resort and uh, the attorney general in this opinion indicated that uh, circumstance that there was a public uh, highway running through the resort grounds uh, didn't alter his conclusion that the entire resort could be described in as one premises as a whole if uh, basically it was operated as a, a single enterprise. Now the Attorney General is 
kind of careful in his words. It does say, of course, reasonable limits would have to be observed in all cases, and uh, rules of reason and common sense must be applied. Uh, I look at this as uh, not a long-term situation. I, I guess I would uh, do more research if this was a permanent request, but my understanding is this uh, request for a temporary premises extension for the 4th of July. Uh, and in this case, the, uh, the resort owns the properties on both sides of the street. So it's different than uh, <coughs> situations we've had in the past. I believe the committee dealt with an issue that uh, regarding the yacht club where they wanted to extend the premises across the street on the uh, municipal armory property. And there the distinction can be made that uh, the Yacht Club didn't own the property on both sides of the street. Uh, I'm not saying necessarily it's good public policy to uh, extend the premises in this case, but I guess what I would say is I think it can be, it's a discretionary decision that the council can make. One factor you do have to bear in mind is that we've got an ordinance, and I believe there's state law also, that as far as the public street that intervenes, uh, you can't consume or possess alcohol on that public street. So uh, there's going to be some logistics issues, and I'm not sure how uh, those are going to work, but uh, the, uh, the resort needs to be aware of the fact that you can't have any consumption within the public right-of-way. Uh, so I guess that's my advice to the council. I think uh, uh, I know in, in talking with uh, Attorney Silverman also, uh, she's been up here several times. We've had the municipal annual municipal attorneys institute at Blue Harbor a couple of times here at Blue Harbor. So she indicated she was, you know, uh, personally familiar with the setup and she felt comfortable with if, if the council was willing to grant the temporary extension of the uh, premises. So I guess that's my advice as well, that it would be within the discretion of the council to uh, to extend the premises. Under further discussion, Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, and uh, thank you, Attorney McLean, for kind of clarifying all this. I mean, I think uh, at the risk of dragging this on forever and ever and ever, it's kind of a reason, I think this is a reasonable request. Um, the road is between the two is not a highly traveled road. Um, and again, it's just for the 4th of July holiday. We're not looking for anything permanent at this point. Um, as Attorney McLean mentioned, I'll reiterate, they do own both properties um, across the street. Um, and I'm sure they'll do their diligence to make sure that they're well within the laws and, and making sure that's being policed so that there isn't, you know, alcoholic beverages on a public right of way. So I would encourage or ask people to uh, essentially deny um, this and then um, go ahead and pass um, the temporary license. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Supervisor Donahue. Alderman Donahue. Or Alderman, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> A little change of venue. <laughs> um, and just building on what Attorney McLean said, um, just and uh, uh, Alderman Hammond, is that if we do want to take the next step forward to allow this license, the proper vote would be no. Um, I will vote no and um, just relying um, on uh, Attorney McLean's uh, description of the circumstances, but I'm... Um, compelled by the Attorney General's uh, sentence here. Here, as in other fields, rules of reason and common sense must be applied. And I think that uh, uh, allowing this uh, liquor license to go for one day is certainly a rule of reason and common sense. Thank you for those comments. Any other discussion? And the motion is before us. Would the clerk please call the roll? Okay, first motion is to accept and adopt, which would mean you would deny them the change of premise. So if you don't want to deny them the change of premise, then you vote no. Van Ack, oh, excuse me. Vanderweel? No. Bellinger? No. Bourne? No. Carlson? Abstain. Dassler? No. Donahue? No. Hammond? No. Heideman? No. Herman? Abstain. Lassard? No. I didn't hear you. No. No. Lewandowski? No. Matichek? No. 
Pentaco? Nay. Veal? No. 12 no votes, 2 abstain. Motion fails. Hammond. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve a temporary permit for Blue Harbor Resort. Second. Been moved and seconded to approve the temporary permit uh, change of premises for Blue Harbor. Any discussion on that motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Vanderweel? Aye. Bellinger? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Stain. Dassler? Aye. Donahue? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Herman? Aye. Lassard? Aye. Liz Lewandowski? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Pentaco? Aye. Veal? Aye. 13 ayes, 1 abstention. Motion passes. Uh, we'll go on to 6.4 on the agenda. Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. I would actually like to take 6.4, 6.5, and 6.6 6, and just send it back to public safety and protection. Okay, Please. we have a motion to uh, re-refer these to public protection and safety. Just, we don't even need a motion if you just want to refer them. Okay, then it will be done. Thank you. Uh, next, we'll go on to item uh, 6.7. That will be referred to salary and grievances. And under ordinances, 7.1 will be referred. And 7.2 will also be referred, uh, one to the City Planning Commission and one, both to the City Planning Commission. Under other matters, City Attorney. Eight point one is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2014 and June 30, 2015. That'll be referred to law and licensing. Eight point two is a resolution authorizing the purchase of 1014B Erie Avenue for the purposes of the raising the property for new private investment in the neighborhood as part of the neighborhood revitalization strategy area activities. That'll be referred to City Planning Commission. 8.3 is a resolution authorizing signing easements for a mini storm sewer to be constructed in portions of their property. That will be referred to Public Works. 8.4 is a resolution authorizing soliciting requests for proposals to manage the Harbor Center Marina as the current five-year with a five-year renewal option agreement expires December 31, 2013. That will be referred to Marina Parks and Forestry and the Public Works Committee. 8.5 is an RO by the city clerk submitting an amended summons in the matter of Community Bank and Trust versus Maria uh, Mulvaney et al. That will be referred to finance. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to adjourn. Second. Move and second to adjourn. Would the clerk please call the roll? You can do all eyes. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you.